this is a concept program which is going to help you understand the concept of scope of a variable and how variables behave in blocks so let's first try to understand the code i have declared an integer variable i is equal to 0 this is a global variable all right then i have a function called as test then i have a function called as gbl or global then i have a function called as main now what I have done is in main I have declared an integer variable i and I have given it the initial value 10. Now you need to understand the i in main is not the same as the global i. The i has a scope only within this particular flower brace. So when I go ahead and if I try to print the value of i, okay, if I try to print the value of i in main, the value of i going to be printed is going to be 10. Then what I do is I create a flower brace here. You can see a flower brace here ending here. This is called as a block. Now within this block I declare another variable i of the type integer with the initial value minus 2. Now if I print the value of i, the value of i going to be printed is minus 2 because the scope of i is within this bracket this i which is declared here has a scope within this particular block so what happens is the variable declared with the same name in the block has higher preference or higher scope than this fellow similarly this i has lower scope than this i in main now if i come out and if i had printed the value of i it would have again printed 10 at the end of it so let's go to the first function called test of i the value of i now going is not going to be this because this i got created at the beginning of the flower bracket and ended at the end of the flower bracket so when i say test i the value of this local variable i in main okay is going to get passed to test this int i okay is neither this nor this it is a different memory location now what i am doing is when i print the value of test and the value of i the value of i which happened to be 10 is going to be printed in test in test it is going to print 10 now i come back here now when i say gbl now when i am calling gbl i am not sending any data to gbl so when i print the value of i in gbl it is printing this value of i which is zero so I hope you understand the block concept and the scope of a variable. Please make an effort to run through this video one or two times till the concept is clear.